Uh, this is a, uh, an historic day in, a, in the sense that the school district and the uh, Center for Law and the Public Interest were able to negotiate a decree uh, not under uh, uh, the gun of a pending lawsuit, but uh, we had arm's length negotiations for the last four months and arrived at this uh, mutually acceptable uh, settlement. I think the school board and the uh, staff and the lawyers at the school board are to be uh, congratulated. Complaint and a consent decree. The consent decree uh, provides that uh, for the next 10 years the school board will engage in an affirmative action program designed to uh, open up job opportunities uh, in the school district uh, at the principal level and other high-level administrative jobs. Basically speaking, the uh, decree provides that for principal jobs and jobs above the principal level, uh, the school district will hire the same percentage uh, women, uh, hire uh, uh, appointees in the same percentage uh, women in which they apply. The school district will engage in good faith efforts to guarantee that no less than 40% of the applicants for all of these jobs are women. I would emphasize that the goals set forth in the uh, decree are separate by the different job classifications. In other words, there's a, a goal for secondary principal, there's a goal for elementary principal, there's a goal for area coordinator, and so on, up to the very top jobs. The top five or six jobs in the district are excluded. The the uh, only other thing I would add is that that all of you know, many of you have been with us in the school board, many of you have covered us for a great period of time. I don't think ever in the history of the Los Angeles City School System has a bureaucracy that is as large as this school system moved as fast. Starting in January with the first formation of the meeting regarding women in their administrative positions called by myself, Bobby Fiedler, we had women come there from all over the district. At that time, a motion was made to create a commission on sex equity. Other statements were made about what was happening and the opportunities for women in this district. Within two months after that, a uh, basically a suit was filed by the Center for Law and the Public Interest by Mr. Hunt, responded to by our attorneys here today, Mr. Apperson and Mr. Mason, and we have responded in a way that I think is outstanding. Within seven months, a major consent decree, a historic consent decree, has been filed for women in this district. We are the first, as far as I know, in the country. I certainly hope we are not the last in the country. Mrs. That, Weintraub, that why were you willing to settle for less than 50 percent of the high-level job? It's, it's because I believe that that is the superintendent's opportunity to choose those jobs, and I believe that that should be left for management. Let me add a couple of things that I would... Uh, Thank you.